So if you're coming up to Manitoba to fish, number one rule is it's mandatory barbless. Anything that's on your rod has to be debarbed. Just using pliers, flat pliers, or pliers that actually have a debarbing section on it, just roll it off, make sure it's completely clean, that if you run your finger up, you don't feel that, that little bit of a bump. Now, a lot of people are scared thinking barbless hooks, you're gonna lose all these fish. And I can attest to it that once you get the hang of it, you're not going to. So there's multiple things you can do. First thing is upsize your hook. The bigger the gap, the bigger piece of fish that you can actually hook into. And the next thing is, is a little longer rods. If you go to a longer rod, it has a lot more bend in it. And as long as you keep tension on that line, you're not gonna have any issues. It's constant tension. As you don't want it to be sharp, as if you're ripping up on, on the fish to reel up and then reel down on them and then lift real hard. You just want constant pressure, take it easy. I always tell my clients, pretend that you want to enjoy the fight and that's the tension that you want on it. So in there, Barabus, show how easy this is to come out. Got to get them to open up. So it's way down there. Now, and it's on the edge of his mouth palate, out, just like that. Now, if that was barbed, you're going to do some damage just ripping that, that out of his mouth, but so convenient, so nice for both your hands and the fish. Cool. Little guy, but spunk nonetheless. Healthy release. And I know that my kids in probably six, seven years might have the chance at a 28 incher right there.